Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we'll have a look at an interesting paper which has compared the lifespan extension effects of various compounds across a variety of species and ranked them by their effectiveness. The compounds that they looked at include familiar ones such as rapamycin, metformin, resveratrol and quercetin as well as others. Let's have a look at the paper and see what the ranking is. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, a collective analysis of lifespan extending compounds in diverse model organisms and of species whose lifespan can be extended the most by the application of compounds. There are a lot of studies showing life extension in various organisms, including yeast, worms, flies, and mice. But studies which look at all the data and compare the results across species are limited. The authors looked at the drug database and identified the top compounds based on the percentage change in lifespan across all the species. Here are the top five. They are not the ones I was expecting. Top is aspirin with an average of 52% lifespan increase. The second is minocycline, which is a tetracycline antibiotic similar to doxycycline. It's interesting to see NAC at number three, while rapamycin comes in at number five. Another thing they looked at was that which species lifespan was the most malleable. Here are the top five. There are two rotifers, which are small aquatic creatures, and the top one could have its life extended by 211%. Here is the detailed information for each of the compounds compared with the trials of each of the species at the top of the five that we looked at already. There are also other well-known longevity compounds such as metformin, curcumin, resveratrol, and quercetin. At the bottom are the ones that did worst and generally had a negative effect, sodium hypophosphite and plumbagin. Here is the information showing how the results are grouped. Some of the compounds such as aspirin have a number of peaks, perhaps implying different mechanisms of action in different species where others such as vitamin E and rapamycin have a single peak, suggesting that the mechanism is common across the species. Here we can see which of the species had the biggest effect, and we've already looked at the top five. There are two mammals in the listing, the brown rat and the house mouse, which have an average lifespan extension of 12.9 and 8.74% respectively. They comment that many of the compounds seem to work through hormesis. That is to say, having a moderate environmental or internal challenge which builds resistance to insults so that a later, larger dose is better tolerated. Therefore, it would be important to understand the dosage. We would not want to have too little to have no effect, but neither would we want to take too much. However, there was not enough studies where the dose of the compound was varied to provide data to look at this in a systematic way. I thought this was an interesting study. First, because translating animal models into humans is notoriously difficult. If we can see that a compound works across species, it does show that it might be a better target to try in humans. It's great to see this looked at with a data-based approach rather than anecdotal. The other thing is that I was surprised by the list. I was expecting rapamycin to be number one. It would have been great if calorie restriction could have been included as well to see how it compares to these compounds. 